Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation on James Bond and the Open Systems Interconnection Model, or OSI model. So, just a warning, this presentation contains some mild spoilers for Skyfall and major spoilers for network transmission protocols, so proceed with caution. James Bond has had many faces and now you are James Bond. You've been summoned to Vauxhall House, that's the home of MI5, for a new mission. This is Vauxhall House. The building says Universal Exports Limited on the outside, but that's just their business cover. So there it is there. Here's a plan of the building. On the seventh floor is M, the sixth is Q Branch. On the fifth we'll find Bill Tanner. On the fourth, Miss Moneypenny. On the third, Leah Ponsonby. On the second, John Strangeways. And on the first floor is the garage. So we'll head straight up to M's office on the seventh floor. You knock on the door and M says, Come in. This is M. He's your boss. He can be grumpy. Ah, oh, Bond. This is a secret message that you must get through to the US Embassy across town. Yes, sir. Now pop downstairs to Q Branch. Yes, sir. This is Q, your quartermaster. He provides you with gadgets. Pay attention, 007. I've translated the message into an intermediary language, and I've also encrypted and miniaturized the message. Thank you, Q. I'm familiar with the standard message conversion protocol. On the fifth floor, we see Bill Tanner. He's the chief of staff at MI5. He's a good mate and a golfing buddy. James, I've done all the security checks on the message and checked it to be sure that it's all there. I've also put in some checkpoints in the message so that your con counterpart in the US can be sure he's got the whole message. Cheers, Bill. Let's have a round of golf this weekend at Sunningdale. This is Eve Moneypenny, M. Secretary. James, why were you so late? I fell out of a plane without a parachute. James, I've analysed the message to see if it could be combined with other small messages that are needed at the US end, and it's been combined with two others. This is Lilia Ponsonby, your secretary. She's also 008 and 0011 secretary. James, I've checked the address of the message and to determine the addressee. And here's my advice on the fastest route to the embassy. Thank you, Lilia. This is John Strangeways. He's the chief Secret Service agent of the Caribbean on secondment to home base. James, I've put your messages in a special MI5 carrier pouch. It contains the messages, the sender, and the destination ID. The pou pouch also warns the receipt if other pieces are still coming. Thanks, John. This is your car. It's cool. Q has prepared Rost and Martin for the trip to the embassy. You depart for the US embassy with the secret packet in hand. So that's the seven floors of the MI5 headquarters. On the seventh floor, you're told to send the message. On the sixth, it's encrypted and miniaturized. On the fifth, checkpoints are added and checks. On the fourth, that message is combined with other messages. On the third, the best route is found. On the second, the message is packed up, and on the first floor is how the message is sent. James Bond will return, Inspector. Now, the Open Systems Interconnection Model is a seven-layer model that corresponds exactly to what we've been talking about. So let's imagine we were sending an email from one machine to another. This is our OSI model. We're... It looks to us, if I send an email to you, like the, I'm sending from Thunderbird and you're receiving in Thunderbird. So it looks like Thunderbird is talking to Thunderbird. But in reality, it's a series of ones and zeros that are sent across network lines on the physical layer. And there are layers in between that convert the idea of an email into the physical layer. And these are the intermediate layers. And they are called the presentation layer, session layer, transport layer. Network layer, data link layer. And what you do in each of those seven layers is exactly what we've outlined in the James Bond scenario. The application layer says send the message, the presentation layer encrypts, the session layer starts and ends sessions, the transport layer decides the route, 
and and checks for reliability. Network layer finds the the way around. The data link layer does things like switching and MAC addressing, and the physical layer is the actual sending of the message. So the application layer, sending, presentation layer, sending the the data, encrypting and things like that. Session layer, managing connections between terminals. Transport layer, uh, managing errors and flow control. Network layer, routing. Data link layer, reliability between two nodes in the network. And physical layer is the actual cabling that joins the two machines together. So that is, in essence, how computer networks work. So thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember, James Bond will return.